job on a huge amount, and this is today's job. Watching all the bits and bobs to do with the shed, and then tomorrow we'll tackle the main shed, and the day after that, it takes two days to do the main shed. So Joy, lovely job this. I'm not going to film much more of this job because it's awkward to film because I'm soaking wet, I'm stinking. Bone gets stinking towards the water, so. Typical, it's always wet when you're doing this job. Well, it's, it's dry, but the ground's wet, so we're making a mess, is what I'm meaning. Kev got those trailers washed first thing this morning. Cruiser man, Alec has got a shiny new tractor. Do you like the dark wheels? I really like them. T195, I guess. Do you like it? Do you like the Valtra there? I noticed it when I came in the door, the LED lights. His last Valtra was a blue one like that, but not with the dark ribs. Anyway, Dad's just getting a bit of bruising done there. I better go do some work. If you're in Perth, Stirling, Fife, wherever, get your bruising done. I actually never get the name right. Is it Urnvale or Urn Valley? One of the two. Tell him I sent you and you'll get half price. Probably not, he's just got a tractor to pay for. I didn't show you before, but when it got dragged, what we do is this chain here, that, you join a shack up with that eye there, here, and at that end, the bar in the middle holds the tension. And then the digger sits there, pulls it that way and instead of chain going here chain going there and pinching these two together that's what the bar is there for it takes out that strain from drawing the two ends in and making a meal of it and bending it once you get it moving a tiny wee bit it's easy it's moving that first little bit that's the issue sometimes you have to go in like this and wedge it all out just to loosen it off and slack it or if you try and move it on a frosty day it's like tricky tow bar can shift to the other end of the shed now Try not to wipe too many things out on my way. Oh my, that was very close. Better not drop on that canvas roof. Put a tear down the middle of it. Steady does it. That, that Well, that seam goes all the way, right the way round. From there to there, it's cracked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that pipe goes away that way. That must be the return from... I don't know if that's the feed to the... Oh, well, I, 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 thought, I presumed it would be going that way through the oil, well, through the, the filter. Must be going down the way through that filter then. Well, it depends on what the level, maybe the tank level... Yeah, it must be, because all the gunk was on the outside. Me and Kev are just servicing this forklift and we've located an issue. You can see there, that seam along the top here is cracked, so this is... Um, the housing in there for the hydraulic filter, which has come out, which is um, looking a bit manky. Well overdue getting changed. Anyway, there's also a hairline crack just in there, and there's also another one over here. So send some pictures to Scott Agri and see what they're thinking. The oil was low. We've now just emptied it, and um, after a mis misjudgment by myself, there's a bit of oil on the floor. Right, it's the next day at this hydraulic filter housing, which is cracked and whatnot. Anyway, we've spoken to professionals. They say whack it all back together. If it doesn't leak, the job's a good one. If it does, we need to either find a second hand tank or take this one off and try and repair it. But there's hairline fractures in there, which is tricky to repair. It hasn't leaked so far. Like before this, the tank's not wet down below. So we'll whack it back together and see what happens. Looking a bit worse for wear. We have been at this fault left before. Well, Kev's been at it longer than I have. I had a flipping tax inspection. Oh, the f***ing wind at the door. <sighs> oh, God. Uh, this machine, we've been giving it uh, some TLC. It's, it gets a bit neglected, this part, I can't lie. It's probably not had its oils changed and filters changed exactly when it was meant to. Anyway, it's named a bit of TLC. It was having a wee bit of a hydraulic issue. and um, So we brought it back here to give it a full run through. Kev did the engine oil and filters, we did the fuel, filters, uh, engine oil and hydraulic oil has all been changed. All in the fuel grease, we've got an oil leak, we don't know where that's coming from, so the belly plates are all off. I've just given it a blast with a washer to get all the manky oil off of it, so hopefully we can find where the oil leak's coming from. Although it's been mega windy today, we've had a disaster at the hen shed. I'll show you that later with the roofs. We've had a disaster, we've had a big disaster. Also, the wind it caught this door, and now it shuts when you slam it. But, and I just fixed it about three weeks ago. 
update on the wonky donkey. Hey, Gabby. Snoozing, but you can see his eyes don't line up. His jaw's a wee bit off. See the bottom of his jaw is a wee bit off to the side. <laughs> okay. Other than just looking a wee bit off everywhere, just dandy. Smashing. Cavern going well so far. Don't want to speak too soon. Touch wood. We've got 17 cows left to go. 16, 16. I'll give you a sneak peek of the disaster we've had. I'm looking at it right now. Yo. So this is the hen shed roof, their canvas insulated below the canvas. Uh, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, bloody hell. We're tracking down some knackered sheds at the moment with roofs we can have. Righty ho, it's flower picking time. So these four boxes are heading out to the daffodils and the tulips. If you remember, we planted them a while ago. Right, I've got some signs on this trailer. I'm gonna dump it out near the car park. I'm about to become uh, the person I detest, which is uh, the person who wipes out all the posts in the car park. So these are clearly the daffodils on the left. Um, tulips start just in this row there, so they'll flower a bit later. If I can negotiate this with a forklift and a 26 foot trailer on the back without hitting any posts, then so should everyone else in their cars. Acres of room, acres of room. Granted, I'm not passing anyone. Right, we're in, we're in like sin. Some tossbot's been given in hell with his car in here. Clown. And then he's been doing some zigzags in here. Flower picking sign up. Not wiped out any posts. This has definitely helped the rails we put on here. I still need to go and there's still rails to do over there. I was gonna get longer rails, but then someone suggested just put up another post in between. So I'll be able to do that over there. Yeah, it's looking quite nice. It's quite wet and the tracks, which was the guys who are putting in optic fiber, raging, like just, oh, like they drove up here with their mower machine. Why didn't they just lift it out and reverse back down again and not make a stupid mess? They also reinstated a bit of tar there that they cut through the road and it is completely sunk. When I've been on the phone to them saying these issues, they have been out and they're going to rectify them, but just straight in. Ignoring that, half of those are starting to look well. And once the tulips come in, they're lots of different colors. So they look really well as well. It's actually a lot better this year because people who have buggies and prams and whatnot can get up in between the rows. People are less inclined then to jump over the rows and stand on flowers. This is the first row we planted. So they're the furthest on just because the depth wasn't there with the machine. We were figuring it out. And obviously we figured it out once we got to there because they're at consist consistent depth when they're coming through, at least those two last beds. This one and that one, we were just bringing depth down a wee bit till we thought it was right. These are already picked, so we're just opening up tomorrow. I've just been putting signs out. We did sow this with grass. It's just not had the weather to grow yet, really. Hopefully it'll warm up. The ground's not too bad. Won't be the best on nice shoes, so we'll just make sure and tell everyone, bring your wellies. That's gonna be like the entrance, so I need to go and pick up a load of wet wood chip and make a wee pathway down there just to tidy it up because it looks a bit rough and ready at the moment. And other than that, hopefully it just gets drier. That's all we can. That's the only thing that's gonna make it nicer. But that's it, it's a farm, isn't it? Come and pick your flowers. There's all different varieties of tulips, so you can see the variation in them. If you imagine this all in nice, colorful tulip colors, it's gonna look good. I think there's about 94,000 bulbs we planted, so. Well, they germinate, well, we've had some nailed by rabbits, so you'd maybe get 85% of that to actually grow. If you get that, you'd be happy. You're probably watching this and it's a few weeks later from now, so there's maybe some tulips out and the daffodils, they'll be well on. If you want to come and pick flowers, Glowburn Farm, just west of Perth, there's the postcode, type the postcode in. Right, the new bit of the kitchen, this bit, the walls now come down. My brother's just taking that all out. So this is like the hatch where all the orders get made up for if you come in for your lunch or your breakfast or whatever. And basically we're making the hatch bigger. So there's more fridges, there's a sink here. Just makes everything flow a bit more smoothly. Anyway, last thing to do, basically there's a seam there where this floor, this lino type stuff, it gets rolled right up the edge. And um, really good for cleaning down, but anyway, it's getting 
sealed along that edge and that's the floor done and then other than ovens and fridges going in it's not far off being ready to use how long is it going to be three weeks there's quite a few new people about so if you don't know there's a farm shop here been open for 20 years here's a wee grey fergie smashing anyway just west of perth so if you're passing stop in there it is glogburn farm shop get your breakfast get your lunch get your afternoon tea get your gifts get whatever you fancy just watch and see you tomorrow guess who just got hey. the day. Bang on the money.